If you don't get a group of guys together that trust the other one, no matter what it looks like, and we are skinny as us, but when you look over your shoulder, he's there. Lucky the war stopped exactly in 1990, when I went to army in 1991 and 1992. And in 1993, military became non-compulsory. You, you, can, you can decide if you want to go to the military or not. The principles there stay very much the same. To have that same principles, but in a team. The same principles that we had there, but with something that we love to do. Because it's not lucky to go and shoot to pass your body and f fire a horn because you, you might have fire and a siren because the infantry was next to you. And if you didn't fire that siren, it was like that. And they had to fall down because the drag of that cannon burst their eardrums and things. So if, if you got small little things, you f***ed up your own people. If you're not aligned in those things, everybody has his own plan and his own goal. And for me, I really think the Springboks and the, you, you, the Springbok group, understands that. You can go to war to the smallest country and there might be a f***ing awesome sniper or they might be one of the toughest guys and they can do guerrilla warfare against you and you can be well organized, but there can be one f***er who takes out two of you guys. Just because you weren't as ready, as sharp, as aligned, in our case, we lose our egos. And it's very much for me the same, and I'll, I'll stop talking about the military now, but you do it on your own, you've got your own plans. It can be a boss oorlog, it can be a breakdown, it can be anywhere. If you don't do it as a group, if you don't understand it as a group, you will, you will uh, crumble as individuals. You will, you, will, you will just, you'll maybe have the man of the match, but we'll lose. You might have the best game, but we'll lose.